If you have an HD analog camera with a white light LED or a built-in microphone and you're using a 3 plus 1 CCTV cable, but you're experiencing unclear audio or video disturbances at night when the LED or microphone is in use, then this video is for you. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to connect an SMPS to your HD analog camera, whether it's equipped with a white light LED or a built-in microphone. I will guide you on how to connect it properly using a 3 plus 1 CCTV cable to supply power to the camera, ensuring it functions correctly. The following types of cameras can typically use this method. Now, let's start with the wiring. Please use the recommended type of SMPS shown above for these CCTV cameras. For information on the BNC video connector, you may refer to other videos that explain CCTV BNC connections. In this video, we will specifically focus on connecting the camera to the SMPS using a standard 3 plus 1 CCTV cable. The 3 plus 1 CCTV cable includes three wires for power and an additional wire for microphone connectivity, separate from the video cable. Use these three wires solely for the camera's power supply. When using this type of cable, do not exceed a length of 70 meters to connect the camera, as hybrid cameras require more power than basic analog cameras. To ensure full functionality, keep the length below 70 meters. For longer distances, please consider using other cable types, such as CAT6 or RG6, along with a separate power core. At one end of the DVR side of the 3 plus 1 cable, prepare the three wires to connect to the SMPS. You can use any combination for the color codes, but ensure that both ends of the cable match the positive and negative polarity correctly. I have used a two-color combination for the positive power supply on the three wires. By using two wires for the positive connection, the voltage will be sufficient to reach the camera. The remaining single wire can be used as the negative connection. Connect the power wire as shown in the provided illustrated diagram to ensure proper installation. Always ensure that the polarity is correct. For example, in this cable, the red and yellow wires are used for positive, while the blue wire is for negative. The same color combination should be used on the camera side as well. As of now, the DVR side of the power supply connection for the camera is ready for white light LED cameras or those with built-in microphones. Now, let's focus on the other end of the cable where you will connect to the male DC pin for the camera's power supply. It's crucial to follow the correct color combination for the positive and negative polarity at this connection point. The provided diagram illustrates the correct connections to ensure clarity. Properly matching the wires will help prevent any potential electrical issues that could arise from reversed polarity, which may damage the camera or inhibit its functionality. As with the previous connection at the DVR side, you will use the same two wires for the positive connection. It's essential to maintain the same color scheme as used on the SMPS side, for example, if the red and yellow wires were designated for positive on the SMPS, they should be used in the same manner here. This practice not only keeps your wiring organized but also reinforces the correct flow of electricity, which is vital for the camera's performance. The remaining wire will be used for the negative connection.
By consistently using the same color coding throughout all connections, you ensure that power is supplied correctly to the camera. This approach enhances reliability and ensures that the camera functions optimally, providing you with clear video and audio as intended. Always ensure that when making joints or connecting wires to other terminal products, you use insulation tape to prevent potential short circuits. Insulation tape acts as a protective barrier, reducing the risk of exposed wires touching each other or other conductive surfaces, which can lead to electrical shorting. By securely wrapping the tape around the joint or connection, you not only protect against accidental contact but also strengthen the connection, promoting the overall reliability and safety of your CCTV system installation. Finally, connect the camera using the BNC connector and the DC pin, and turn on the CCTV system. Ensure that the camera clarity is optimal and that there are no disturbances in the video feed. If you want to test whether the camera is functioning properly at night, cover the camera lens for a few seconds to activate the IR or LED light, which switches the camera to night mode. In this night vision mode, the camera requires additional current compared to the daytime operation. It's important that the live feed remains clear during this night mode without any interruptions. If you encounter distorted video or a loss of video signal, you may need to adjust the power output. To do this, toggle the SMPS power supply mode switch from normal to long or extra long to ensure that your camera receives the necessary power for optimal performance. Now, the demonstrated camera is functioning as we expected. If you encounter any issues during nighttime operation, you can connect a DC adapter directly to the nearby camera to resolve these problems. For more details or alternative methods of power supply wiring, please follow our channel to access more tutorials, tips, and resources that will help you optimize your CCTV system and ensure reliable performance.